All right, welcome back everybody for PBAL week five. Yeah, week five. And yeah, let's get into this matchup. So, okay, they do bring... Okay, yeah, they bring Mew. Yep, basically everything I was scared of came. Mew, Jugulus, Squeezing, Kiram. Yeah, Weezing is like the one thing stopping Xi and Pao, especially if it's neutralizing gas. That would be really, really bad. But, hopefully we will be fine. Uh, what didn't they bring? They didn't bring Infernape, which I wasn't really expecting. They didn't bring Cornerstone, which is good. Less, pres less pressure on Skarmory. Um, I could try and get rocks early into the game. Yeah, I probably will do that because this also counters a uh, Palafin lead unless they are Scarf. And if I find out they are Scarf, then that's great. Because they didn't bring a ground type unless they are Terra ground Jugulus, which I do think is likely. But it's important to get that Terra out of the way immediately because if it is Terra Steel, it's really good for our Xi'an Pao. Or if it isn't Terra Steel, that's good for our Xi'an Pao. Because we, we know we can just Ice Spinner that mod. Needs Palafin, perfect. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is just... Yeah, I'm just gonna Volt Switch. Oh. Uh, alright, we are back. They only registered five Pokemon and I didn't notice. But, uh, they forfeited. Same lead. We know they're leading Palafin. This is amazing for us right off the bat. Because we do just get off a free Volt Switch. Um, Jugulus isn't a ground type yet. So we are more than free to go for Volt Switch. If Kyurem comes in, we can immediately go into... Into Namorous, get off a Moon Blast, which... There is a resist too, but that resist is Galarian Weezing, which pressures pressures the team for Xi'anpao to just come in and do great things. So this is just an amazing start for us already. But uh yep, like I did before, we are just uh we are just gonna uh volt switch. Okay, so yeah, they do withdraw, like they should. And they go out into what? Yep, it is the Kiram. We get chip on this mon, which I'm more than happy with. And we get to scout what the Enam switching is. Okay, so that did about 12-ish percent, which... We are max special attack into Kyurem. Yeah, 15-ish percent, okay. So yeah, that doesn't look like it's... Uh, it looks like it's a little bit of bulk, which is fine. Uh, but we will just go into Enam, and we will just uh, get the Moon Blast off. Because uh, I am not risking anything. Uh, if this is Weezing, this is fine. We get to see the damage on it. Palafin comes in. Okay, is this Assault Vest? If this is Assault Vest, this is great for us. Because I'd rather it not be Taunt. Okay, how much... So that did around... 30%, I want to say. Um, Moonblast should be doing, like, way more than that. Yeah, that's Assault Vest. Oh, wait, no, that's Palafin Baby. Uh, Palafin Hero, level 50. Yeah, that, sh that that's pretty damn, like, bulky Palafin, which I'm more than happy with. Uh, we can just go out into Ogre Pond pretty much for free here. Iron Head, okay. Iron, okay, so yeah, that's 100% Assault Vest, because I don't think you ever bring that, like, into... Uh, what's it called? Like, I don't think you ever bring that in... Uh, the, the, the fucking... Oh my god, I don't think you bring that if you're, like, taunt bulk up. Motherfucker. Okay, so we do get a free knockoff on something, which is great. If this is Kyurem, I would love that. Weezing, Weezing, okay, we get rid of the helmet, potentially. Black Sludge, okay, no recovery for this mon. Free. Uh, now we can just go out into... Yeah, we can go out into Sandy Shocks, I don't think... Like, like what would this thing do, right? Because... Um, hmm. Okay, this is like... 
Yeah, because it's gonna go for like a sludge bomb or or an overheat potentially. So I think Sandy Shocks is a pretty good play here. Toxic, that's perfectly fine. Also, wait, uh, this is Levitate. We know this is Levitate now, which is fantastic for Shi Pao, because we just need to get this in range of a... Uh, in range of a... Uh, what's its name? <laughs> Fuck. I'm completely blinking when it comes to, like, words today. Uh, we need to get a... Uh, oh, they stayed in. Interesting. But, should be fine. Like, do they go for fire move? I don't think they go for fire move. Like, they probably go for fairy move here? Defog. Oh. Okay, they thought I was going for hazards. I mean, that's that's fine. That does nothing. Alright, uh, I'll go right... Like, we got huge chip off, which is incredible for Xi'an Pao. So that's, like, completely fine with me. They were hard reading... Uh, what's it called? Okay, so what would be the switch into this thing? Because, like, is it, would it be Jugulus? Would it be, would it be Mew? Because I don't think they stay in, right? Maybe it's Palafin? If it's Palafin, that's fine. We just go out into Sandy Shocks and we just full switch again. Like, we just double back into Sandy Shocks and maybe we can get up uh, rocks now. Okay, they do go for Flamethrower. That plus Toxic is a little worrying, but also fine. Because we just Volt Switch again, and we either get rid of Weezing, or... Like, we get rid of Weezing, or we get Momentum. Okay, we get rid of Weezing. Easy. Alright, uh, Weezing is gone, which is fantastic for us. And... What is our best, like position here, so I don't want me to come out, and if I- okay, if I go into Xi'an Pao, what would be the switch in here? Like, the best I can see is, like, Scarf Kirim Focus Blast, Choppleberry King Gambit, and we have answers to those, because if, if Kirim comes in, we know it's Scarf, we go out into Skarmory, and we can tank anything from non-boosting item Kirim, and if it's, like, if it's Palafin, then we just go out into our- oh, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I see no reason to not go out into Xi'an Pao here. Like, we put up a ton of pressure immediately. And as long as Mew doesn't come in, I'm perfectly fine. Because I don't want Mew coming in. If Mew does come in, I know it's Choppleberry, like, an, or... I knew it's Culber. Yeah, okay, this is absolutely Culber. I refuse to believe this is not Culberberry. I'll go out into Sandy Shocks because I just want to scout for what this thing is going to do. Because I'm not risking, like, a fairy move. Train Punch, okay. So after Toxic, we might be in range of another Drain, uh, drain Punch, and this could just be Scarf Mew. Okay, so we know it's not Scarf. Which is really, really good to know. So it is Culberberry. Yeah, it's absolutely Culberberry. Right? Uh, they might have just gone for Drain Punch again. Could they have gone for Knock Off? Either way, there's no... There's no Enam switch in, so I'm fine going out into it. Oh, they could have gone for an Ice Beam. That would be bad, actually. Dragon Dance. Okay. That makes sense. Are you in range of... Like, are you in range of a Scarf Moonblast if you're no Bulk Mew? Uh, Moonblast only does 48 to... to 56. I mean, I still need to get the damage off on this thing, because... Oh, I could have just gone out into Skarmory. I'm dumb. Okay. If we just act our Enam that I'm throwing... Okay, Enam is still alive, which is good. I don't think you bring priority on a D-Dan set, and we get rid of Mew. It would be fantastic if we got rid Okay, yeah, we get rid of Mew. Perfect. Okay, Mew's gone, and... Like, Mew's gone, Palafin... 
Palafin, Palafin will just come out here, and uh, we will always just go out into Ogre Pond again. Because I don't want this thing clicking, clicking Jet Punch. Jet Punch or Flip Turn. Okay, they double out, presumably into Kiram. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that was a good play. Hmm. Alright, I think my immediate pivot is to go out into Xi'an Pao here. And then I get to scout for the damage. If they go hard focus blast here, that's just a fantastic play for, on their part. Okay, they go for they go for ice beam, and it does less than fifty percent, which means this isn't this is not a a scar a a spec set, which automatically gives us really good intel. So, do they have any sacred sword section? Not really. They go out into palafin, which is great. Like, we get a lot of damage off on this thing. This should be a 2 KO. Yeah. Now, do they read us going out into... Into Ogre Pond? I mean, we live a Jet Punch no matter what, but I do want to live... Actually, wait, do I even live a hit from Jugulus? Like, if it's Iron Jugulus, Booster... Because it could just be Flamethrower, and even if it is Hurricane, like... Yeah, we are in range of a booster speed Kiram anyway, so I think I'll just take the kill right here. So that Jet Punch isn't a problem for to force out our EDAM. Okay. Yep. We take another with Xi'an Pao. Perfect. Alright, Xi'an Pao is finally, like, present in a game. Which is... <laughs> fantastic. The only problem is we are in rain. Oh, wait. King Gambit's a problem now. Actually, no. We have Skarmory. We have Skarmory. It's fine. As long as we don't get in range of a King Gambit hit with Skarmory, we should be fine. I, I just want to see if this is Scarf, right? Because, yeah, Pal has no presence in this game anymore. Okay, we confirm that it is Scarf Kiram. Which is, I think, the perfect opportunity for us to go out into our Dedunce Parse and Calm Mind. Uh, I think we can keep Terra hidden still. And we can just Calm Mind here. Okay, so Jugulus comes out here. So, at plus one... So with the Dunsparce, Iron Jugulus, they didn't reveal Booster, which makes me think that they're probably Specs. If they are Specs, and we are plus one, plus one, we don't KO them, and the Hurricane does a shit ton of damage. Do we KO at plus two? If we don't, we have a chance of KOing, but I don't want to risk that. I think I'll just take the Boom Burst damage. Oh, interesting. Is this King Gambit? Oh, I could have seen him again. Fuck. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Beautiful, beautiful damage. Honestly, I kind of just want to... Like, I do just kind of want to boom burst this thing to get it into, uh, to just kill it, right? Because I otherwise have, like, no option. Like, yeah, I'll just boomers again. Yeah, okay, that's a 3 hit KO. Uh, we do also confirm that we're faster, and they're not leftovers. So, if we just Terra Fairy to get the resist, and Terra Blast should be doing more, right? Terra Blast, if we are Terra Fairy, does do more damage, so... 
We're gonna go for Terror Blast to confirm the kill. We know we're faster. We now resist Sucker Punch. And so we should be, like, good to go. Because they only have three Supreme Overlord boosts, so they're, uh, they're only getting a 30% boost on this hit. And we are pretty physically defensive. Oh, that's uh, absolutely a crit. Holy shit. Okay, that really sucks for our Kyurem. Or for, for the Kyurem. And the Jugulus, actually. That really sucks. Because we would not have taken nearly as much damage there. Okay, so Iron Jugulus comes out here. This has to be Specs, right? Or it could be Terra Steel. And if it's Terra Steel, that is really good for... For Enel, for... Mm. I think I just have to go for the Boom Burst damage. Okay, so yeah, they confirmed Terra, which is, I believe, like, they should be Terra Steel here, right? Like, they're going for a Terra Steel Flash Cannon, I assume? Yeah, okay. Oh, I was really hoping Terra Ground here. Okay, but we know we're faster with Ogre Pond, and do we get the kill on Iron Jugulus? Iron Jugulus... Ogre Pond, Wellspring... Oh, we don't get the kill here. But that should be fine. Our Skarmory should be able to clean up this game anyway. Is it smarter to knock the... No, we just need to go for the damage. Oh, is that a crit? Is that a crit? Oh, I wasn't calcing the fact that it was super effective. Never mind, I'm dumb. <laughs> I wasn't calcing the super effective hit. Oops. Okay. Nice, really good kill with Ogre Pond. Um... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so we just... Like, Kyurem absolutely dies, so yeah, we just let Ogre Pond go down here. Because there's no way in hell we leave a, live a freeze dry. But the thing is, their win con is to go for... We absolutely get the... Yeah, I'm just gonna superpower sack. There's no... I don't need to overthink this. Like, yeah, they go for freeze dry, because that's how they get the kill. And now we go out into, out into our Enam. And even if Enam doesn't get the kill here... We just go out into our Skarmory, we live a hit no matter what, we body press, we win the game. Okay, <laughs> we get the kill. Woo! Okay, really, really strong game after our last one. That was really, really, um... That was a really scary game. GG's to K-Bardas. Their team was really, really scary. I'm really glad that... Like the, like, the Dunsparce did a bunch of things, um, just, yeah, everything worked out the way I wanted it to, which is really great. The only thing, like, is maybe I should have gotten enough hazards with Sandy Shocks, but I feel like the Volt Switch game, like, the Volt Switch rotation was also just really, really good. But yeah, um, really, really good game to, to K-Bardas, and I'll see y'all next, next week. Bye bye